Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Join our Facebook group and let us know where we can discover Newfoundland. So we're out exploring Dildo for a few days. And while we're here, we're staying at the end of the bay. It's a beautiful bread and breakfast right here behind us. Just a lovely place. Uh, we're going to go explore the town now and shoot some video around town so you can see the beautiful town of Dildo. You can see how close in by the bay is to the ocean. The front part there is, uh, with all the windows, is the dining room. Just down the road there, if you want to go for a pint, is the Dildo Brewery and the ocean is right there. Stained glass on the brewery doors. Here's Dildo Co. It's really blowing today. Beautiful in here though. Up there is the famous Dildo sign. So right here, close to the ocean, it's a nice playground for the kids. It's actually a lot of stuff there. It's pretty big. I'll get a closer view. Yeah, it's a great little park here. Lots for the kids to play on. Actually, I was thinking it looks like a lot of fun. Maybe we should go have a little bit of a play on there. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I don't think I'm too old to try that slide. I'm going to go down it. Was that fun? Yeah, it's good. Right here beside the park, there's a little walkway around the pond, the gazebo. Oh, got a big one! <laughs> Absolutely beautiful scenery down here. Our first night in Dildo, and we're trying out Yes Buy Indian Kitchen of Dildo, Indian Cuisine. So we got takeout from Yes Buy Indian Kitchen here in Dildo. We decided that we'd bring it back so we can eat Oceanside here in by the bay in Dildo. We ordered chicken curry and a lamb dish. We've got samosa and some flatbread and it looks delicious. Can't wait to get started. So what did you think of Yes Buy Indian Kitchen? Oh, it was so good and I'm so full. Really flavorful. Yeah, it Delicious. Was, it was very flavorful. If you want to go to Anderson's Cove for a little hike, it's just off the right past the Blue House. Good morning from Dildo, Newfoundland. We're out exploring the Dildo area for a couple of days while we're here. Today we're out, we're going to hike the Anderson Cove Trail, which we believe used to be an old road system going between Dildo and New Harbor that we read that the Dildo Brewing Company fixed up to be a trail. Yeah, and it looks like it's going to be a quite a little hike We're going up the road. You can see in the background um, there should be a beach at the end, so let's get going. Just to clarify, we're not going up the hill, we're actually going down this road, so let's continue on. Not too far down the road and we've reached the beach. Not a bad place to spend some time. If you're in Dildo, come down and you can do a little beach combing, maybe dip your feet into the water. The clouds are starting to open up, it's just beautiful down here. We just came down to the beach, thought we'd do a little beach combing and we already found a little starfish, some sea glass and a really neat piece of driftwood. That coastline over there is just fantastic, that cliff face looks awesome. These little guys are spocky this morning. Look how neat this piece of driftwood is, all the lines and veins running through it, just awesome. I'm pretty much at the other side of the beach. Helen's not too far from where we began. We've been here for a while. Looks like she's finding lots of stuff. Right at the end of the beach is the beautiful coastline here.
while combing the beach, I found some more sea glass, some pottery, a little driftwood, and this bone is so smooth. Sometimes when you're beach combing, you don't uh, remember to look up, but you have to look up once in a while and just admire that view. So funny, I was looking up to hear the bird, you can hear it chirping and spotted this crab shell and it's quite large. <laughs> the hike in wasn't a very long one. Um, it was approximately three kilometers. That's including combing the beach. That's in and out. But it was a beautiful day. The sun came out. Yeah, if you wanted to make this hike a little longer, you could actually walk right in from Dodo Cove on the main road and probably add about two kilometers round trip onto the hike if you wanted to spend some more time. Walking down the road here, we come across, I believe, our whale bones. This is incredible. I've never seen anything like this. It looks like a rib cage and a skull. Currently close by here in the water, there's a whale graveyard. It's the remnants of the whaling days. There used to be a whale plant somewhere around here. It's amazing what you can discover when you're walking around. So right down here at the water's edge is the Dildo Cove Adventure. It looks like you can get screeched in and they have dory rentals. That'd be fun to do in the summer. Well, here's a scene in Newfoundland for you. Fishing stages, lobster traps on the dock, some dories. The grill's not open yet, it's off season, but it looks like it has a nice patio to sit out over the harbor and have a meal. This is the back side of the grill. You can see the patio up there, and it's like right here on the harbor. Down here in the harbor, there's some nice colorful fishing stages. So we were told this is a little mom and pop shop. If you're ever in Dildo, come and take a look. We just came back from uh, exploring the little town of Dildo. And we are back in the dining room at the Inn by the Bay. It's been a really nice stay here. We've really enjoyed ourselves. Um, it's been a great time. Beautiful place here if you want to come explore Dildo.